I'm Gareth Grover. We're here in Brighton in the Haunt uh, for the last night of current Frank Carter and the Rattlesnakes tour. And I've been blessed to be allowed around the country with the new 2002 Black Big Beats. And they are special, very special. Okay. So I was introduced to the Big Beats by sound mainly. I put the distribution, checking out a couple of different models from other ranges and uh, I had a sort of sound in my head that I was looking for in particular um, and I just I just couldn't decide between two particular models um, so uh, I was asked to sort of turn my back <laughs> uh, and listen to something uh, which turned out to be my first hearing of the, the, the big beats um, and it matched exactly what I was hearing between these two other models. A beautiful, beautiful sound. For me, it works perfectly for, for what we're doing. It's loud, noisy music. I personally don't want to hear too bright sounds sort of floating over the top of other things. It's, it's too harsh. From a sound engineer's point of view, the guy we've been working with on the tour um, sort of has backed up everything that I felt about the cymbals in that they sit, they, they explode, they, they punch out from, from among the mix on stage, but uh, they have quite a quick decay, a quick dis sustain, and they disappear back under everything, and they just, yeah, they sit perfectly, perfectly. So the full range from the 18 right through to the, the bigger, the 22 and the 24, the gradient is, is perfect. I've ended up choosing the larger sizes uh, for the Rattlesnakes tracks, they just have the right kind of feel mainly. I mean, it's very hard, heavy playing, and they just move uh, like butter, but and they come back at me in the right way. For 16 inch hi-hat cymbals, which are big, <laughs> they, uh, they feel great. You know, again, just like the rest of the cymbals, they, they come back at me in the right way. Um, the, they feel nice to play whether they're sort of tightly clamped to the stand or whether they've got a bit more movement to them. They're, they're crisp, but they have that sort of nice, subtle dryness to them that sits just under the mix where, where I want to hear it. So check out the 2002 Black Big Beats range from Peisty. Perfectly sculpted, uh, an incredible sound and exactly what I had in mind.